What a way to kickstart this session. Now, he is an absolute peach of a carp. Mega chuffed with this one. I'm gonna take you back to the beginning, tell you where we are, what we're doing, about this mega venue with some lovely fishing like this. Now today you join me at Eccleshaw. I'm at Butterley Pool, which is one stunning lake. Now if I was ever to get my own lake and design a lake, I'd pretty much copy this, what you've got here. It's a lake exclusive, but it will take up to four anglers. And what you've got effectively is an island in the middle where you can all socialize, all fish together, but you've all got your own section of water to yourself. And it is just mega. I'm gonna grab the gear now, show you around the lake, and um, yeah, see if we can catch a few for the camera. What I've done is I've grabbed my spod rod with a lead and I've gone around the whole lake. I've done a couple of lake, a couple of laps now. Um, there is so many overhanging trees and bits and pieces. You could literally have 30 rods and not cover them all. So, you know, there is lots of little opportunities for fishing, stalking and stuff like that. So I have seen a couple of little fish signs more on this end, which is predominantly where the wind's going. So I think that's as good a place as any to start. But what I can do is prep a couple of areas up there. So yeah, two laps in. I've gone around with the lead and I've, I've found a few little likely areas. There is weed at the margins, uh, you know, so just be careful of that. But there is also fish amongst it. So really it's just a case of setting up a couple of little traps. You are fishing for 60 fish in this lake and they go up to high 20s. So there is quite a few unique, nice fish in here. You know, there's something different for everybody. But like I say, it, it's very unique it's very different it's lovely to fish off this island and just scatter your rods around and stuff like that so that's two fish one from the far margin and one from uh, right under your feet so um, yeah very chuffed with that so tactic wise I've caught from three different spots around the lake predominantly the one over the other side where there's a nice gravel bars being my most productive but I've also had one I've also been stalking around and uh, moving about a little bit. I've caught on a variety of baits and methods, but predominantly there's been two winning formulas. One of them has been the Simply Red Wafter, just in a nice PVA bag, quite a big solid bag with a load of pellets and cold pressed pellets. And then I've also had my biggest fish on these. If a fishery is using pellets, it's worth having a few halibut pellets spare because they have brought me some quick bites and also will pick out some different fish. So I've always got a tub in the in the bag just in case I ever need them, but it's definitely worth giving them a try on these pellet dominated waters because, you know, everyone just fishes a boilie and I have caught on boilies, but also give them a try because they do work very well when the, when the fish are so used to pellets and they don't see it very often. So, this is a very unique fishery, so you get the chance to fish off your own private island, access over a bridge, so you don't fish on the outside like you would a normal fishery, so there's four swims on the island, each with their own unique piece of water, so if there's up to four of you on here, no one's interfering with anybody else's angling. And that also lends itself to coming out here to have a social as well, so stick the barbecue on, have a beer, have a brew, um, get together with your mates. It's fine to leave your rods in, the rods are not too far away, so within walking distance really, very quick. So uh, yeah, it's a brilliant social venue. That's the idea and the, the design of the fishery. Stock-wise, 60 fish up to 28 pound. Um, the yes, it is a young fishery, uh, it's starting out, so we have a feeding program in place. Um, so those fish are only going to go up and we'll add to the stock each winter. So these fish have been handpicked um, and grown on so there are some lovely scaly fish if you, as you've seen in the video.
what a way to end the trip now this is Butterley Pool go check it out on the web get yourself on here and have some fun and catch some absolute stunners like this lovely Mwah.